I found out something very special I want to share with you guys. I think we build our own heaven and hell right here on Earth. Now, don't click away. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to show you how. All right, boys. We're here at Rotten Fucking Ronnie's. Here's the thing. Right here. Turn the camera around. See that off in the distance? That's Ottawa. Putrid old Ottawa. We're building our own heaven right here on Earth. We built hell, now we're building heaven. One sec, let me get in the, let me get in the car. Kingston, Ontario. You know what that means? We're about halfway between Toronto and Ottawa. Now I gotta be real with you, I'm not moving to Toronto today. I'm gonna go look at the place I got in Toronto, which I have the lease for now, and I'm actually gonna move in like three weeks. If I can't make it as an artist, by 30, I'm gonna move back to my hometown in Nova Scotia and be a firefighter. Forward to Toronto, Ontario. Oshawa, signs for Oshawa. Getting in a street fight is less dangerous than driving. I know of like eight people who've died in car accidents. I'm, tw I j I'm 24. Like drunk driving, normal driving, motorcycle, hit by cars, gone in the ditch, speeding, everything. I'm doing 180 on the Don Valley Park. I, I don't know anything about Toronto. I don't even know why I moved here. I, I can't give you one good reason why I moved here other than that it's big. Uh, anyway, piece of advice. Great piece of advice. Young men, listen up. Because I know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm 24. I've seen it all. Uh, you can trust me. You can trust Hamza. You can trust Andrew Tate. Yeah, so you want to really scare yourself silly. You want to scare yourself straight, as they say, like that show. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to find a group of like men in their late 30s who have nothing going for them and hang out with them for like a week. And just see what they do, see what they talk about. Knowing what would make you kill yourself is really important. Because we fucking made her, bud. We fucking made her. Oh my fuck. Uh, how the fuck did I end up here? Just pulling up to the spot. Just pulling up to the new spot. It's wild how, how foreign this all feels, yet one day it will all be routine. I don't know how I scored this place. It's a townhouse, it's not even a fucking apartment, man. Okay, occupation reveal. I'm a bartender. I like, I can afford this place. It's not like it's like, I'm not breaking the fucking bank to live here. Okay, second story. Here's the best part of this whole fucking thing. These last set of stairs, third set of stairs, leads us up here. Now what's up here? Actual rooftop fucking patio. Ooh, that's really nice. Nice. Glad that it's nice and shoes. Shoes. Kanye West's finest shoe. Figured help me fit in here. Picked up a pair. I'm vlogging in Dan in Toronto. I never thought I'd do this. I should kill myself tonight. I'm making God cry. I'm making God sad when I do this. I like this is the most bumpkin thing I can think of is to come to a city and the first thing I do is go to like the most commercial district in the entire area. Yo, they got a Gucci store. That's why I moved here. Sometimes it feels like the world's gonna end just because the vibe is off. You know, it's funny, I moved here to uh, be a famous artist. I don't know, instigate some violence against landlords. Step one, become a famous painter. Step two, instigate violence against landlords. And then after that, I just get a wife and move back to Nova Scotia. But until then, it's gonna be a whirlwind adventure. Speaking of adventures, there it is. It's the only reason I moved to Toronto. That's a camera. Just like, just like a vlog or just like... Yeah, I'm just recording myself. You know what, I, I'm just gonna eat my Chick-fil-A. I'm not even gonna tell you my opinion of it. Glad to know that the, uh, the banks like gay people. I would be really upset if they didn't. Actually, it makes me really trust this bank. Chick-fil-A kind of sucked, not gonna lie, pretty shitty. I told you I wouldn't give you my opinion, but um, I don't know, made me feel like I'm gonna die young. Uh, maybe embarrassed to eat it, to be seen in public holding it. I know I judge anybody I see eating fast food, so I assume they judge me as well. Th this video didn't really have a point. I just really wanted to uh, film this, man. The world only ends if we let it, and your life only goes to shit if you let your life go to shit. If you're miserable, then everyone around you is miserable. If you're happy, everyone around you is happy. You can be like the light in people's lives. Not to get sappy, not to get sappy. I hope one day I look back on this video, I look back on this moment, I'm like, damn, cool, I did it. I did what I wanted to do. Thanks for watching. Um...
Yeah. God bless, man. Thank you.